Power University is a HBCU that was founded in DC by missionaries as a training facility for black preachers and later on became what we know now. Howard University is where the AKAs <laughs> The Delta My sisters and me, we are the souls that is forward so TFC Omega Five Beta Sigma. Yeah, ah, yeah, 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 yeah. This is where all um, those fraternities and sororities basically were founded, you know. Howard University, it gave so many of our ancestors opportunities because remember, it was once upon a time where our ancestors weren't welcome into predominantly white colleges. So our ancestors made our own college and it gave kids so many opportunities and kids to this day you know HBCUs is so important because you can spend the rest of your life being looked at as a minority but at when you go to college at an HBCU there you're not a minority you know you go into college with everybody else that look just like you and I'm, I used to go to um, Elizabeth City State and I wouldn't have it any other way. You know, HBCUs is the best. Well, with that being said, you know, we understand how important our school campuses is, but apparently not everybody because lately the students have been complaining about local neighbors wanting to walk their dog walk their dogs on their yard and from my understanding their dogs is leaving droppings and the locals aren't even bothering to pick up the droppings so you have kids trying to go to class 
you know, trying to meet up with their friends or what have you. And they're finding themselves having to watch their step because it's dookie in the yard, you know, and that's not right. That's highly disrespectful. And how I feel is, though, if we had if there was locals that would go to Howard Harvard University especially black locals and they decide that they want to walk their dogs they will be removed immediately but for some reason the fact that these black kids you know and some white kids too because you know uh it's other races that go to howard it isn't just black but because they don't want people walking their dog in their yard because they feel like their campus is their campus then all of a sudden it just seems like they're complaining and this one local even came to the decision of maybe you just need to move your yard watch this clip is silent so far about its official stance but students have plenty to say accusing neighboring residents of using the yard which is the heartbeat of howard university's campus as an outdoor gym or a place to walk their dog the yard is for the students and although everyone loves pets i feel like it's disrespectful to have the pets just running around especially when there are several parks around here if they come on the yard and they're just walking through i don't necessarily have a problem with that but i still feel like there are other ways to get around dc without having to cut through a college campus they're in part of dc so they have to work within dc if they don't want to be within dc then move the campus i think we need to work together and i don't think it should be a he or he or there here it's our community and that's how it should be again how are you okay first of all sean these kids do not need to move their campus. If anything, y'all need to find another spot to walk y'all dogs. And I did my research, so I know for a fact that y'all have many other dog parks out there. Let's name them. So y'all have Crispus Addicts Park, the Park of Le Detroit, Bruce Monroe Community Park. That's the third park out of name. The fourth park, Merid. What is it? Meridian Hill Park, as well as Gage Eckington Dog Park. And that wasn't even the end of it. So it's no excuse why y'all need to be walking y'all dogs on this campus, letting them pee and poop. You know what I'm saying? And not cleaning up behind y'all selves is no excuse. It's nothing wrong for these students to not to not want random people with their dogs walking through the yard they didn't say that they don't want you per se walking through the yard they just don't want you and your dog walking through the yard and y'all not picking up behind the dogs you know what i'm saying that's highly disrespectful so i'm gonna need for you to um Take your dog elsewhere and just stop being a bully. You know, just stop being a bully. It's other dog parks. If if somehow you feel as though these dog parks or these parks is too far for you, then just be like a regular person and just walk your dog up and down a sidewalk around your neighborhood. You know, you don't necessarily per se need to go to a park to walk your dog, but just leave these kids campus alone i mean god it, it's really not that big of a deal if you think about it you know it's it's really not you i just listed what one two three four five parks and that wasn't the end of it i didn't feel like writing all of them it's no excuse for y'all to be walking your dogs on the howard university campus letting your dogs poop and do their business and you don't pick up behind them and i'm not saying some of them don't you know don't pick up behind them because some of them probably do but it's just it's it's nasty you know for kids to be sitting here trying to walk to class or trying to meet up or whatever and they have to watch their footsteps because it's dog droppings everywhere you know this campus might not be all of that to you but it's all of that to us okay so yes keep your dogs off of the campus please please visit some other parks and respect people's space okay this well this is the end of my video um thank you for clicking on my video peace hey! Hey!
Y'all stay focused. Y'all keep working hard. Believe in yourself. Prove everybody that doubts y'all wrong. Show up every day. Stay pure. Keep your heart pure. Stay motivated. Stay inspired. Show love to your people.